It's your life. Coming up on Houston Life, it's a place that transforms lives and the way the world thinks about adults with disabilities. Brookwood Community joins us. Plus, it's Giving Tuesday, how you can get into the holiday spirit by giving back. And a local interior designer that recently won an award from HGTV. All this and more on Houston Life. Afternoon and welcome to Houston Life. I'm Jennifer Broom. And I'm Derek Short. You guys did such a fantastic great job. Such a good job. <laughs> this is the Brookwood Handbell Choir. Now, just 40 miles outside of Houston in Brookshire is a place called Brookwood. And this place is changing the way the world thinks about adults with disabilities. Take a look at this. Hi, welcome to Brookwood. At Brookwood Community, adults with special needs live and work together as co-workers, friends, and family. This is my car. My car. It's so good. Inside the craft workshop, citizens are making handmade ornaments, crosses, and other home decor for the gift store. Take one, and wrap, wrap it around. Voila. It's done. Residents here are known as citizens, and everyone has a job to do. What are you making there? Um, I'm Texas Bowl. Oh, so eventually that's going to be red, white, and blue with a star, huh? Right. So show us how you're doing it. So you're just dabbing the paint on? Wow, super fast. So I hand paint everything in here. How does it make you feel knowing that someone's going to come and buy your product and display really good it? Because it's good. They can come and celebrate Christmas. So they can have it in their house all year long. And you made it. Yes. It's got to feel very satisfying. Yes, it does. It feels really great. This is what I'm famous for. And I like what I do here. It's nice. Big work on art and a lot of my work. Oh, I'm sure. Is it very relaxing for you? Do you find peace while you're painting? Yes, I like fine detail. Yes, sir. These are very, very detailed. So how long does it take you to paint one of these? Well, it takes me about two to three days to finish one of these. When we make them, we ship them. So you ship out finished products too? Yes. So people can buy online? Mm-hmm. Whoa. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Look at all of this great stuff that's just ready to find a new home. You guys have a pretty big operation here. Yes, sir. And just in time for the holiday season, citizens in the horticulture department have grown 48,000 poinsettias. Well, I'm in horticulture and I work in the greenhouse. So are we interrupting your work right now? No, no sir. We're not You're not going to get in trouble? No, sir. I'm not going to get in trouble. Are you sure? I'm in sure. How do you know? Because right now we don't have much work to do right now. Okay. <laughs> Cool. Can you show me some of this stuff in here? Oh, yes, I can show you around. This entire garden center, it's not just the poinsettias, but everything you see in this garden center, the sales of these items, it all goes right back into Brookwood. Brookwood doesn't receive any money from the government, so profits from the gift store, garden center, and cafe all support the community. I care of my staffs and my citizens are working for the Brookwood Cafe. You like talking to people, don't you? Yes, sir. I... You don't seem shy at all. No, never. Never, ever, ever. Here's a Charlie's cheeseburger on the menu. That is so cool, the Charlie's cheeseburger. I wish I had a burger named after me. I appreciate them all they did for us. And I'm so thankful to have a job and it really makes me happy. At Brookwood, there is no such thing as I can't. It's all about finding what each person can do. Get to know about Brookwood. Help us work with all the citizens out here and get to know all of us because it's a beautiful place. I mean, I would never leave Brookwood. I've been here 15 years. It's just my, this is my home. It's been my home since like the day I started here. Hi, Mom. Thank you for coming out to Brookwood. We love y'all. Come back and see us.
What an incredible oh, group and of see people. Us. Incredible I just place. love it. I got to go see them to give them all hugs. You should. They're open houses this weekend. And listen, guys, we are joined now by Brookwood's founder, Yvonne Strait, and Jana Mullins, who helped Yvonne put together the book, Everybody's Got a Seed to Sow, the story of Brookwood. That's this book right here. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so for glad, having us. So glad you came by. Now, Yvonne, I want to start with you. Your daughter, take us back to the beginning, how this all started, because your daughter, when she was a year old, contracted mumps, had a very high fever, encephalitis, and suffered great brain damage. Well, you're right on target. She had mumps when she was one year old, and the protective coating that's supposed to grow around each cell of the brain had not had a chance to complete. And so when the encephalitis and meningitis hit, it just zapped her really, really hard. And being a selfish, determined mother, I decided that if she got sick overnight, she could get well overnight if I could find the right button to push. And that started me on a trek across the United States and ultimately into Europe to try to discern what is working for these people, to give them a better life. And let's fast forward to today. So clearly Brookwood is a community of citizens. Some folks actually live at Brookwood, but many people just come in for the day. Describe to us, maybe Jana, you could speak to just the, the scope of the operation today, because it seems like you guys are touching so, so many lives. We are, so from um, our expansion into the, the future of Brookwood, what we're doing, we're, we are one way, and so we are providing opportunities for organizations all over the U.S. and abroad to come to Brookwood to learn from our mistakes, our successes, and bringing that back into their own communities, because together we can collaborate and make a difference for these adults with, with disabilities. And ladies, it seems like to me that the mentality is, I can. It's not, it's not we can't or we can't do it because of this. It seems truly that it is, I can. Well, it's an I can situation. Uh, what we try to do is to break a task down into parts. And you may be able to do two of the parts. You may be able to do four. I can do one, but together we can make this happen. God does have a little bit to do with that, too, I might add. Yeah. And I think what's so wonderful about it, too, is every Brookwood product, when you look at that, there are many, many hands that have made that happen, just like Yvonne said. And so it's, it's not just one, one product. It's a product made by many, many, many citizens. Well, and it's actually really yeah. beautiful stuff. I spent some time in the gift shop. Uh, I had to race back to get to the show that day I visited you, so I was out of time. But there is so much really great stuff to buy, and that's one way that average folks like us can support Brookwood, right? Mm -hmm. The products that are sold go back into the community, including a salad dressing that you have at HEB. Oh, yeah, HEB is so good. <laughs> We've got a, a fantastic salad dressing. And made by citizens at Brookwood. Made by the citizens at Brookwood, bottled. We, we had to get a bottling machine, so we sent some, ask a foundation if they would help us. And the Paul Newman Foundation <laughs> sent Aww. us money for a, a bottling <laughs> company. It was neat. Now, another then, way folks can help, though, is with the book as well, right? Oh, yes. Because it's been underwritten, it talks about how important work is to all of us. And it's humorous, and it's inspirational, and it's a little bit of everything. But the good thing is that 100% of the proceeds from that book come back in to underwrite our citizens and for our outreach programs. So that is touching a lot more people than just West Houston. And you guys have so many acres of, of land out there. You're, you're planning on expanding Brookwood to touch even more people. How many people do you hope to be able to support in your facility? Do you want to answer that or do you want me to? I mean, are we talking about <laughs> no, I, I can, no, 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 no. We're talking about on the premises, only the numbers of people with whom we really touch can, because we know them so well. Yeah. Probably 250, but the outreach program that we have three times a year touches people as far away as Thailand or New York or Galveston or wherever, Although, because that has touched already many thousands, and we continue working with them 
almost daily. Well, Yvonne and Jana, thank you so much for coming by. We're going to hear more from the Bell Choir a little bit later. And as a reminder, Brookwood's Christmas Open House is this Friday and Saturday. You can take a tour of the campus, shop, and enjoy lunch at the cafe. Mm -hmm. And the citizens will also have some special holiday performances. So for all the information, you can visit brookwoodcommunity.org. And thanks again, Yvonne Strait and Jana Mullins for thank stopping you. by. Thank Keep you. Keep up the good work. Thank you. <laughs> and